What is up guys, Fishy Films HD here, bringing you a video on how to mod your Dark Souls uh, game save. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, first what you want to do is have your USB plugged into your Xbox. Uh, and whenever you load up the game, you want to make sure you select your memory unit. Uh, when you press start it should say new game because you should not have anything on your USB related or with Dark Souls on it. Damn it. Alright, let's just uh, get to the point. Sex male class. Alright, once you have your character made, doesn't really matter what you make them. You want to go ahead and start up the game. I'm going to skip the cutscenes because uh, I want to go ahead and get to the computer part. <clears throat> Alright, so when you start out, you get the... Uh, dungeon cell key you want to go here um, it doesn't really matter where you do it you can do it right here in the beginning so uh, what you would want to do is you want to quit the game <clears throat> make sure everything saves Right, just gonna make sure it's on the uh, USB. All right, now you can dashboard it. <clears throat> All right, since it's on the USB, let's go ahead and uh, get to the computer part. All right, guys. So here we are on the computer to uh, the Dark Souls save editor. All right, so what you want to do is open. Ugh, I can't talk, sorry. Open your extracting program, such as USB X Tab, uh, Horizon, Eclipse, whatever. Let me give it a second to load here. Alright, so what you want to do is find your saved game. You can either drag it or you can, I guess, double click it, contents. Damn, I got a lot of shit on here, don't I? But it'd be uh, the first one, user data, extract. This would be like save 1, save 2, save 3, save 4, so on, save 5. <clears throat> Minimize that. Alright, now what you want to do is open your Dark Souls save editor, which is there will be a link in the description for that. And you want to load file from local. Uh, where's it at? There it is. Oh, and it makes a backup for you in... Um, in this folder. It should automatically make a folder for you. Alright, you can... Come over here to uh, Tools, Added Attributes. You can uh, max all your stats, 792. Alright, this makes it to where you will not die except by falling damage. Um, that's the only way you can die. You have to take falling damage. 
stamina, you never run out of stamina. Uh, practically every hit's a one-hit kill, except if they're blocking. You can change your name, gender, you can change everything. Enable all warp bonfires. And once you're done with that, you can save changes. Um... I'm not sure why that's not working for me, but uh, file save plus fix STFS. All right, that just saves everything. Yeah, whatever. All right, you can go ahead and exit out of that. Um, open up your uh, extracting program. Let me move this over. Damn it! All right, there we go. You can go ahead and delete or replace it. I just delete it and just drag it back in. Alright, and I will see you back on the Xbox. Okay guys, so here we're back ugh, here we are back on the Xbox. Um let's go ahead and load up the save. Memory unit again. You can change it to your hard drive if you want. I'm just gonna keep it on my memory unit. Let everything load up. I wish I could skip all this. I mean, lucky for you, you can. So, <clears throat> press start button, load game. It'll say you're level 4 up until you load it up. Loading save data. Alright, and as you can see, my health bar is longer than fuck. Um, I have the max amount of souls. Equipment. Uh, as you can see, all my skill levels are 99. Humanity, 99. Level 792. <clears throat> fuck. Alright, now I'll take you to where I get the, uh, sword the first sword to show you like it it's a one hit kill skip everybody else except that one person I killed Do -do -do, open the doors I don't know why I'm lighting the bonfire, but okay. Let's go ahead and get the shield. And then the long sword. See no damage taken and a one hit kill. Let's all speed run it to the um the boss demon as you can call it. Open the door. It's gonna kill these two and then skip the arrow guy up here.
And as you can see, he hits me. Uh, well, the boss hits me, and I take no damage. And you can practically kill any boss in a matter of 20, 30 seconds. Probably not even that. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun modding. I'll see you.